Gentleman's time has expired. I now yield five minutes to the gentleman from Massachusetts, Congressman Lynch. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Barashi, thank you for your, your great work. I appreciate the work being done by Mr. Dodaro and uh, Elizabeth Warren as well. The work that you do obviously allows us on the Oversight Committee to do, do a lot of our work. Uh, let me ask you, uh, one of the programs that Treasury has set up was this Asset Guarantee Program where uh, Treasury will guarantee certain toxic assets held by qualifying financial institutions. They have uh, focused mainly on toxic assets purchased by, or held by, excuse me, uh, Bank of America and Citigroup. I think those are the two big outfits that they focused on. Have you been able to get information on the specific assets that, that Treasury has acquired from Citibank and, and Bank of America? We're in the process of putting together an audit that's going to address exactly that question. Uh, we received a, a letter request from Congress to look into that, and we are right now in the process of putting together the audit structure that's going to address exactly that issue of, of what's in there, what the cash flows are, how it came to be, uh, really a thorough audit on the entire process and, and what's going on in, in the Citigroup. For Bank of America, Bank of uh, Ken Lewis has indicated, the, the, the CEO of Bank of America, that they are withdrawing from that program, that the contract was never signed, uh, and therefore uh, it's not actually going to be imposed. So we do have a, a pending audit that we expect to complete in September that addresses Bank of America and its participation in the TARP program. So we'll touch on that there, but we won't be doing a similar study of the assets uh, given, given the change of the status of that program. Okay. I, I know this was instituted in November of 2008. I'm just wondering, you know, what, what actually was purchased. And uh, my, my question really focuses on our, our potential exposure. If we're, if we're pro providing a guarantee behind a, a uh, credit default swap or, or some complex derivative, our exposure uh, may be greater than uh, what your monetary uh, assessment has been, even at at three, bill, three trillion dollars, and I'm just worried about our exposure there. But let me just shift, uh, and I, I certainly anticipate uh, your, your report in September. That, that will be great. Um, let me ask you about your own position here. Uh, we originally set up the Special Inspector General for TARP uh, in connection with the $700 billion that was, uh, was uh, allocated. I did not vote for that, but, but it, it went through anyway. A lot of us didn't. Uh, now, originally, you, you were set up to oversee uh, and to safeguard the taxpayers' money. However, uh, recently I understand that Treasury has challenged uh, your authority as an independent oversight body. Uh, reportedly, Treasury has requested an opinion from the Justice Department Office of Legal Counsel uh, questioning whether your office, in fact, falls under Treasury's authority. And uh, can you comment on Treasury's challenge to your independence, which you talked about earlier as being so important and in integral to your, to your operation there? Yes, we, we do think this is uh, potentially an issue that, that, that could impair our independence. Uh, Treasury has sought this legal advice from OLC. Uh, we've submitted our own, our own submission. Uh, detailing our position that we think it's crystal clear what Congress's intent was, and that was for us to be an independent agency operating within the Treasury Department. Uh, and we're going to wait and see, but we think that there is a, a danger that Treasury uh, could try to assert, uh, depending on what the OLC opinion is, the authority to shut down uh, investigations or audits that we may, may seek to initiate. And we think that would obviously be contrary to the intent of Congress, uh, and it's something certainly we'll, we'll let Congress know if we do get an adverse opinion. I'm pretty confident, though, that I think the statute is so clear and the intent of Congress is so clear. I, I'm hopeful that OLC will, will see it the right way. I, I think really the only way uh, that, that makes sense based on how the statute is written and what the statements of Congress have been both at the time of enactment and since then, and, and hopefully this issue goes away. I, I always thought this was an unnecessary thing for Treasury to do. I continue to think so. Well, obviously, if this challenge is, is diverting the energies of, of your staff to defend itself, then perhaps we in this committee can, uh, I mean, there are some vehicles that are, that are going through Congress right now. We could simply amend uh, one of those just to clarify 
that our intent was that you be independent and that you uh, conduct oversight over the, the uh, operations of Treasury with, in connection with this, this TARP program. Let me ask you, I also heard that uh, Treasury's decision to, to challenge this uh, came immediately in response to some of your questions regarding the bonus payouts at AIG. I, is that correct? That was the timing. Uh, I, I would, wouldn't go so far as to, to do causal relationship between the two because I don't know for sure. Uh, it, w it did come up, uh, the issue, on the eve of an interview that we were going to have with a member of Treasury's General Counsel's office uh, who was involved in the executive compensation um, issue at AIG. So it certainly was at that time. Well, I only speak for myself, and I know my time has expired. But I just want to say that I, I think it would be a terrible uh, miscarriage of what Congress's intent was to have you uh, hamstrung by being put onto Treasury. We, we, we established your office to oversee uh, and, and to protect taxpayer money. And, and we do not expect you to be answering to Treasury. We expect you to be investigating them and, and conducting your oversight. Thank you. I yield back, right. uh, Mr. Chairman, and you happy birthday. No, you can't yield back. You don't have any. <laughs> <laughs>